Yes, okay. Well, uh, Colin has a written question. Um, I've got a written question here which was sent in by uh, a lady called Malati Sitterin, which I believe many of us know. Um, I also know this question is quite similar to something which um, somebody wrote in to me, which she's actually turned up. It's a lady here called Mary Radcliffe. So I, ask, I will read this question first, and then let Mary ask her question. I think that will save us going over the same ground twice. So the question for Malati was, can councillors implement new and controversial plans without consultation or proceed even when constituents have expressed a negative response more than once? And it seems to me that's a very similar ground to a question which is going to come from the floor. Okay, so how do you want to... Should we I think pass the microphone along or ask the question? No, I think we should ask the question for the floor. I'm trying to okay. speed things up because I understand yeah. how the time is going and that certain sure. people have to leave. So the question for the floor is for Mary Ragnar. Okay. I'll pass you the microphone, Mary. In 2006, a few people made a decision around a committee room table to classify a piece of land as excess green space. They kept that decision very quiet and worked hard over the next few years to create a plan to build a school on the Croft site. No one asked the people if they needed a school. No one asked the people where they would like it or how it would work out. Now we are months away from this threatened school and there are so many outstanding issues yet to be dissolved, resolved. The traffic, the environment, the safety, and local mitigation. There are no plans in these crucial factors, and nothing is link, linked to the process of local consultation. Do the candidates agree that this is an unsafe and undemocratic situation? And would the candidates personally agree to sign a letter calling this proposal back to the planning committee in that it is an incomplete and unsafe planning application? So each party, From left to right or right to left? I guess each party has a chance to answer. So, so do we want to see who wants to step forward first? You have any takers? Bill? Right, okay. And we keep answers to the yes, next we'll, we'll 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 yeah. yeah. Excellent questions from both of you. Um, very critical and very important. Um, the Green, I made an objection to this quite a detailed one uh, on this crop school. First of all, the rigging of the numbers, the school children, how they sort of picked numbers out of the air saying 70 people in Scott Central and goodness knows where are going to come to this school, which is not a nonsense. It's a school at Wichelstow already under-occupied, under and many houses in Wichelstow under-occupied, so there isn't the pressure on the school to put more school places. Um, but principally, yes, you're building on a greenfield site at the Croft where they first of all sneaked in a temporary building, which nobody wanted. And of course, that was under unoccupied, good, costing goodness knows how much. They got to shift no this. Pun? No yeah. no. Right. Um, so the question: Would I sign a letter? Very definitely. And um, the, the whole, this whole saga of the school has been absolute disgrace as far as local democracy goes. I'm absolutely appalled. I mean, I know we've had a Philistine government, uh, local government for years, whether it's Tory, Labour, or Lib Dem, or whatever. Um, yes, certainly the localism, if it does have teeth, would be an improvement, but I would question this, but we really, um, I'll let the other candidates be. Yes, we, this is a critical issue. We must oppose any kind of The answer to the written question is, can the council do this? The answer is yes. Should they be doing it? No. Because I believe, and I believe really <coughs> strongly, that this is an issue where the consultation has been almost pushed through without being aware, you as a community, being really aware of all the facts, all the figures, and a real consultation. You, 
I don't mean, you know, putting the plans up in the um, council offices. I mean coming and talking to groups like yourself who have involvement. Would I sign a letter asking it to be called in? You bet I would. I'm sure I'm not going to be the most popular speaker on this one, but uh, I will have a go. Um, I don't agree with most of what's been said, um, for the reasons that I will explain. Um, first of all, uh, it's very easy to be critical, but there are, are people whose job it is to make decisions, and currently we're the ones elected to make the decisions. We have a statutory responsibility to provide school places for children who need them uh, in their communities. That is the backdrop to this. this is, we're not doing this to upset anybody. We're not doing this to impose a school where people don't want it. We're doing this because we have a duty to provide school places for children who need them. School numbers are rising dramatically in this town. There is a 15% increase in the birth rate, uh, which is going to not hit us for a couple of years fully, but uh, it will come through. Uh, it is a real worry. I mean, we're talking in Swindon something like an extra 15 schools are going to be required just in the next few years to meet that sort of rise in birth rate. So that is the backdrop. The decision had to be made as to where a school went. Now about consultation, uh, I can say that, you know, this, this, whatever people might think, this Croft proposal has had more public consultation than any other school in Swindon. And it, in, it that is a matter of fact. better notice of what that, anybody said. That says how by the other consultations. Um, can I say this without being interrupted, because otherwise I'm not going to get through. Uh, it, ha it, it has had more uh, consultation than any other school. Uh, it's been through a planning process. It has been unanimously supported. I fully understand that residents who are going to find a school on their doorstep may not be happy. But we have to make a decision based on the wider good of the community. And it doesn't always make it popular. We have a similar situation with housing. If you try and put houses anywhere for people to live in, we're told we have 13,000 people on the waiting list, you have to make decisions. The, when we are under legal restraint about what we can say about Croft at the moment. When that is lifted, I am quite happy to engage in the debate about the consultation. Is the consultation process as good as it could be? Clearly, it will, you can always improve things. Neighbourhood plans may improve things. But, all right, the consultation process is the one we use, is the one we've got, and the one we use for every other school in Swindon. And I can say a lot more. Thank you. Yeah, I'll just to back up, Colin, obviously we're going to be very um, limited for time, so if we can keep comments from the floor to a fair minimum so that the candidates have got a chance to say uh, what they'd like to say. Again, just a, a question for Rod again. Um, under the new local localism act, how would the um, Croft uh, school proposal um, uh, go through the planning process? Would would the you know the residents have, be able to get a referenda as, as Robert was saying and be able to um, you know uh, vote on, on on their views? I think it should be answered. Can I answer that? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, as far as I'm aware, no, you, it wouldn't be able to be stopped through that process because the neighbourhood plans and the forum would be about, as Robert said, it's about the detail, it's not about the strategy. Um, we've, we've all got a big learning curve to go through with these neighbourhood plans because it all sounds great in practice. It's, it's when you get down to the detail of how it's actually going to work, it's going to really matter. And we're going to have to work hard to make it work. Uh, and, you know, I, I, more than anybody, want this sort of engagement to work. I have personally championed local, locality working in this borough. Um, so, but my understanding is that under the current proposals, uh, things like schools would still remain as a strategic issue, and neighbourhood plans wouldn't be able to. They may be able to contribute to the debate, but I'm not sure they'd be able to stop. Thank you. Is there any other comments for any of the other candidates on this? As long as it's very, very easy. Well, again, as I said, the UKIP party is for local democracy and local referenda. And I'm pretty sure that uh, if we got into power, then you would have a say on how uh, the, these uh, plans affected the local residents. And uh, under a referendum, uh, you know, the majority of people who in that particular location would, would uh, have sway on the decision. 
because after all, uh, we elect people um, to represent our views. Thank you. Um, you just want to add a quick word as well? Yeah. yeah. Um, I think, yes, we have to be very clear that the localism act and urban planning is for a very specific purpose and it, will, it is about spatial planning and there will be strategic issues that um, the council and the government still have a say on. Um, I think what's important here is community involvement, how the community has been involved um, and you are the local community, so your perception of how you've been treated and your involvement is important. If you don't feel that you've been involved, then who, who are we to say that, that you haven't? It, you know, it's, it's, it's what counts is you as a local person and you as a local community. Um, I can say that I have signed the petition um, that you've got at the back of the room. I, I don't agree that enough consultation has been carried out, that you've been in, included and in, involved properly, that you've been given all of the information when you've asked for the information. Um, if I was involved, I would have opposed the decision. Um, and Labour as a party um, in, in Swindon, if we get power, we would review school places to actually look at what the whole need of um, school places throughout Swindon is, because we don't necessarily agree that the decisions that have been made have been made on um, the right information. So what we'd like to do is review the planning decision based on the information that has been supplied and to see if it is accurate and that the information that was available at the planning committee when it was it made that decision was the right information and that the decision was sound. Now we can't guarantee that we would change the planning decision but we can offer that we will look at it again. Uh, original question as uh, asked by the lady at the back of the hall. Can we have a show of hands for those that then said that they would sign the petition? Uh, the, the petition was about sending the, Mary, if I'm correct, the petition was about sending the planning application back, is that correct? Would, would, as framed in the original question. The way, the way I heard it, Mary, am I correct? <coughs> Mary, can I, can I check that I was correct? I understood. Sorry, she I, said, I can't hear you. <laughs> right, can you hear me now? Can yes. You hear me is your question correct, what Toby's just asked you, that would you sign a letter asking for the for the Croft proposal to be sent back to the planning committee. Was that your last question? Yes, yes. So if, you, if, the, if the answer is yes, can we have a show of hands for the candidates? And if the answer is no. <laughs> right. Okay. Uh, right, so questions over.